Hey, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Please take whatever resonates, leave whatever don't. Of course, this is a general, not a personal. Um, I will be doing live Q&As tonight. Wednesday nights is between 7 and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to get a question answered, definitely tune in with me. Um, I'll be providing games as well uh, uh, for the fun and also for a chance um, for you to win a question uh, to get answered. So make sure your notification bell is on or just make sure you tune in around that time. Come to my channel between 7 and 8 o'clock um to catch me live all right because i know a lot of people don't get notifications so yeah you may just have to come to my channel all right scorpio let's see what's going on with you scorpio 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 spirit please show us a message for scorpio what is the message for Scorpio? Scorpio. What else for Scorpio? Scorpio. Scorpio. What else for Scorpio? Fair, please show us. Let's get two more cards. Okay, and what else? Oh, Lord. All right. So there's forbidden love. We have commitment, long-term relationship, pop-up, spontaneous, unexpected surprise. On a verge, about to reveal and confess. Hmm. So maybe you, um, you don't want to talk to someone. You don't want to deal with someone. This could be uh, someone that you have or had a commitment with. But they're wanting to pop up on you because they, or this is someone you're shutting out because you don't want a commitment with them. Yeah. It's, this is someone you don't want a relationship with, you don't want a commitment with, and you could be shutting them out. They're wanting to pop up on you to express how they feel. Show us a message for Scorpio. Scorpio spirit, show us a message for Scorpio communicate yeah you, you got this last week <laughs> i believe scorpio got communicate last week compromise forgive and work it out they're saying um yes at the bottom of the deck so hmm. maybe you're at the maybe you're on the verge of Letting someone go. Maybe you're on the verge of like, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm just, this is not working. I'm just done. And spirit is like, no, uh, compromise, forgive, work it out. Because this is a commitment, long-term relationship that you're supposed to be in. Someone will be coming towards you, okay, with this pop-up, spontaneous, unexpected, surprise visit. Let's get more. Show us more on this energy with this forbidden love. <laughs> you about tired of it, Scorpio? You like, man, I am done. I don't, I don't have time for this. Show us a message for forbidden love for Scorpio. That's, that's the ego side of you that's saying that. Because whoever this is. You may still have feelings for, especially for them to say, you know, compromise, forgive, work it out. You just tired of the same old, same old. Um, maybe you express yourself. You tell this person what it is or whatever or or not. But <laughs> something you're tired of for you to be putting your hand up. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I don't. I don't want this no more. But I feel like that's your pride, like I said. Because in this energy, you do. You still love this person. Um, or you still want this person, but you just, you you guarding your heart. That's what I feel. Show us more on forbidden love. 
shows more on forbidden love. You could be dealing with the Aries. We have the four of wands here. So you like, yeah, it's like you're for, <laughs> this could be a twin flame, 11, 11 here. This could be a twin flame. So it's like, like I said, it's no completely done with this situation. Maybe you're tired of uh, the in and out. You're tired of, you know, the inconsistency. Um, and you could just be like, you know, I, I'm done. You know, you're putting your hands up, putting your hands up, surrender into the situation. But it's not long term. <laughs> it's just for the time being so you can um, focus on self. Or that's what you want to do because you've been putting too much focus on this, on this person, on this connection. Believe it or not, it's the same for them. <laughs> Why? Because it's a twin flame. This is a strong connection. So just as much as you're thinking of them, they're thinking of you. But, like I said, you could just be tired of their ways due to the in inconsistency or something. Something going on. Show us more on commitment. Commitment for Scorpio. Commitment. All right, Queen of Wives. So I feel like you're deciding to, like I said, it seems like you're trying to take your, your focus off of this situation and focus more on you. You're very uh, well-liked, like, by many or, like, attractive, male or female. Show us more on the Queen of Wives. Or this is how, you know, people view you. You just may have a lot of people that just like your energy. Show us more on the Queen of Rods. Also, I'm getting someone could be trying to hold hold on to this person energy. This this could be an ex of theirs that's trying to hold them back from you, whether they know this or not. <laughs> like I haven't been with that person in I don't know how long. Like. Why would that? Mm, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Some people just, mm, yeah, some people just can't let go. Show us more on pop up. Yeah, they want to invest in this. They don't want to let this go. They want you. They're holding on to you, okay? <laughs> some of you definitely dealing with the fire sign Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They want a commitment with you. They want to hold on to you because they, it's a lot of love. They want new love with you. They feel like this will be successful. They feel like you complete them. They could be walking away from maybe uh, a person or a job or something because they know or they feel that it will be more successful with you. Or this is you, Scorpio. Take it however it resonates. Let's get more on the Four of Wands for Scorpio. Four of Wands. Show us more on the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is clarified with the Empress. Some of you dealing with the Aries for sure. Okay. Someone felt like they're losing control with this union, with this connection. They feel like they don't have, they feel powerless right now for some reason. Why? Show us more on the uh, emperor. The emperor in reverse. The high priestess. Because maybe you're the high priestess or due to like... Or because you're silent, you're quiet, you're not giving in too much. Because you're getting fed up. You want to just walk away, like leave this behind. So, mm, for some of you, this person, this this could be why you're fed up because this person could be silent from you and, you know, I don't know. Someone could have abused their power or control with you or tried to, let's see more. On this emperor in reverse and the high priestess. This is pertaining to an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, king of wands. 
someone has secrets. There's some secrets that they're not telling you. You may be aware of this or have an intuition about what it could be, but this person is, I feel like they're hiding some things. It could just be they're hiding the fact that they feel powerless at this time because of their circumstances, their situation. Show us more for uh, Scorpio. Strong fire energy. Yeah, this is your person. The king and the queen came out as a match. I do feel like... Uh, Hmm. Let, you and this person could be mirroring each other and don't even know it like <laughs> but I'm telling you here like you're mirroring each other like this person like they could be silent from you you could be silent from them or it's not so much communication that's why we have communicate compromise forgive work it out um it's like, okay, it's kind of like, all right, you quiet. Well, I'm going to be quiet too. I'm not about to talk to you if you're not talking to me. Like something like that. Um, This is childish. Uh, but, you know, that's what's happening here. Um, I do feel like the feminine energy could be holding on to the idea of the co commitment. This is where I'm also getting mirroring. This person could be silent about what they really want, which is a union, which is possibly marriage with the four of wands. They see you as a twin flame. They see you as someone they can have a union with, with the four of wands here coming up in their energy. And then your your energy, if you're in a feminine energy, you could be coming up in the uh, as the commitment. Like, look, I want a commitment. You know, I want long term. I want a long term relationship with you. Um and that's what you're standing on or that's what you're holding on to. But this person may not be expressing that or re they could be rejecting that. But really deep down, that's what they want too, because it's showing. So that could be the secret with the high priestess or this could be reverse. Okay. If this is your person already, you, I mean, well, it's your person. If you're in a connection already, you are already together. There could definitely be, it's definitely not... It needs to be worked out. More communication is needed between you two. Because I feel like some things is not expressed here. Show us more for uh, Scorpio on this King of Wands. King of Wands for Scorpio. Three of Wands. So they're making a plan. They're, uh, they could be waiting for something though. Before they... They so secretive. Like what? Are, why are they so secretive, Scorpio? You're the secretive one. Like what? How? You met your match. <laughs> Show us more on the moon. Show us more on the moon. So they could just be making secret plans to come towards you, especially with the pop up. But they're sad here. They're regretting. Maybe. Something pertaining to the last full moon. Show us more. Mm. There's, they could be sad over no reconciliation. You and this person are coming back together. They could be sad and missing you. But they want to take this leap of faith. They're ready to take this risk. They feel the detachment. But they feel blocked. Why? Show us more on the seven of wands. Because of they feel blocked because of a child show us more on a page of cups or they just feel blocked from having this fresh new start with you they're just gonna have the guts and walk away to start this new beginning that's all but it's a fight. It's like it's it's a lot that they have going on that they have to do. Three of Swords. It's competition. Possibly with a child, child's parent, 
Three of Swords is heartbreak due to a third party, possibly. It is someone in the mix that is causing this uh, delay for you and this person. So just be mindful of not taking it out on each other because it's not you and this person. It's actually someone else causing this energy between you two. I promise you, that's what the, this if this reading is resonating with you, that's what it is. Um, there will be a balance if you continue to give to this connection energetically. Because, um, I mean, they can't break a twin flame. No matter how much they try to uh, cause some type of discord or how much they try to get in someone's head or how much they try to send magic or try to get in between. The connection is just not going to work not with a twin flame connection not with someone that you're supposed to this is your person yeah here go the devil uh-huh creeping on out slowly but surely um mm. someone is starting to see like they shouldn't have did something they should have took uh more cautious steps It's like someone is is battling being single and being in a relationship. Being single and being committed to you. But they feel the urge to have this union with you, to have this relationship with you. But I feel like it's the energies. It's some some other something is trying to stop this because first of all, with the twin flame connection, there's a lot of abundance when you come together. There's a lot that can be done together than apart. So I, whoever is trying to interfere with this connection, they know that. They know that. So they're trying to keep this apart. So this person, it's like someone want this person to be miserable or want this person to be uh, single. Like someone don't want this person to ever be in a relationship or because it takes time and... Uh, Take their focus off of them. So this could be like a child's parent or... <sighs> Who is this doing this spirit? Show us. Who is this trying to keep this person from Scorpio or Scorpio from them? It could be a fire sign or an earth sign. They want this person to stay... Uh... This is crazy. They want this person to stay... In and out, inconsistent. Remember I was saying that in the beginning? They want this person to continue to stay juggling, indecisive, uh, dealing with multiple people, or just not being committed to someone. So this could definitely be someone who possibly had a connection with them, but they don't want them to ever be committed to anyone else. So this person may not notice or realize this, but the energy is there and it's it could have them confused, thinking it's really them that is not wanting a commitment. But deep down in their soul, they do because the soul is the truth. But their logic is like, nah, that's not what I want. Or, you know, <sighs> mm, mm, mm. so now they stuck in limbo or they just stuck. OK, they're not even no, they stuck in limbo. It came out for a reason. Um, very indecisive, not knowing how to go about this situation because they feel like it's a fight to have this with you. It's a fight to have this with you because of others like family, friends, or ex-lovers or child or children that is involved, however your situation is. Okay. But there is, um, definitely a situation where there's others involved and, I'm not sure if this person is a reckon in recognition of this. They may not. They may feel like it's just their own thoughts. But mm -mm, not with this moon, the devil. No, it's just not giving me that. Someone definitely could have been uh, sending this energy towards someone to have them thinking negatively, thinking that they're not going to be able to commit or to make them think that, that they don't want a commitment or to make this person feel like they're not good enough. They're not um, in this emperor energy to be able to, you know, provide or give to this union for wands. But that's all the trickster. That's what the devil is. Okay. 
Um, and the devil is trying to keep this from coming together. That's why twin flames are hard to um, just come together and just stay together. It's always, you know. But eventually, it will come and it'll be locked in. Um, show us more on, well, hmm. Let's get more on pop-up. Let's see about that. Show us more on this pop-up. So eventually they will pop up and they want to invest in this with the seven of pentacles. They want long term. So this is someone that don't want to ever be without you or don't want, they don't want to see the day where this is completely over. So they were wanting to invest in this, but as far as the commitment, it's just seemed like they're battling that. They're definitely in the battle with that. And that's with the devil energy. Um, they're causing their self heartbreak. They just need to follow their soul. And not so much. Yes, yeah, spirit is saying. Yep, yeah, tell it. Ace of Swords. To, I told you. It's some people or uh, inner energies that's betraying this connection. That's trying to keep this connection apart. Or trying to keep this person from recognizing what this connection is with you. Mm -hmm. Show us more on pop up spirit. Pop up for Scorpio. Show us more on pop up. That's why you just gotta be, you gotta be strong. You gotta be strong in your faith, strong in your spirituality. You have to fight off these demons. You can't allow negative energy to get you like if it if once upon a time you said yes this is what i want i really feel like this person is the person i'm gonna give it a chance and then next thing you know nope you know what no nah, i can't do that i don't it just not won't it won't be right but your soul with your gut was telling you yes go for it and then your mind is like no nah, I, I just can't that just it wouldn't be right yeah because the energies mess with the mind it can't mess with your soul your soul is yours so that, that intuition is your soul telling you what it is. And someone is in the, in in between. Show us more on the pop-up for Scorpio. Eight of Swords. So the pop-up is coming out with the Seven of Pentacles. They want, in, they want to pop up. They want to continue to invest in this, but they're stuck. So there is no action, but they want to take action. But they, again, they keep being in this... It's like one foot out, one foot in. That's the action. But then they trying to, they're balanced, trying to figure out, okay, should I go now? Should I go later? And then here go the seven of pentacles on the pop-up and then the eight of swords. The seven of pentacles, yes, I'm ready to pop up. I'm ready to invest in this, give my all to this because I feel like it's worth it. But I don't know. That's that, that mental, that stuck mental energy here it's a lot of illusions that's wrapped around this connection show us more for scorpio eight of swords Ooh, and stress and anxiety someone could be having bad dreams yeah because it's negativity that's being sent to this connection so the dream bad dreams could be trying to get you to come against your person trying to make you look at them or view them differently um or the, the bad dreams could just be just uh, due to someone's, you know, whatever it is that you're wanting to succeed in is bringing those negative thoughts in your dreams. So someone is definitely doing some work. I feel like someone is someone doing some work. That's why you got to stay strong. All right, King of Wands. This is all about this King of Wands. So some of you, you're dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or I'm speaking to the masculine um, the male Scorpio and you could be in the King of Wands energy where this is happening to you. Okay. But you're going to have to stand strong. And that's what they're saying. Like, look, stand strong own your power. You are powerful. You're more powerful than what the hell this is. That's being sent your way. But as soon as you allow that to, to, uh, take charge, then you, yeah. Five of Cups came out twice. Sadness. Regret here. Regret in the tower. An abrupt ending. Show us more on the tower. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower. Some of you could be dealing with um, 
two. Well, I'm in. Yeah, someone is regretting. Wow, someone will be in regret if they don't take this opportunity. They're going to be in regret from having this new beginning with you because this is their justice. This connection is their justice. Okay, let's come out. They're going to be messaging you, but it's it's like something, it's heartbreaking. I feel like you're heartbroken, they're heartbroken, possibly because of the connection being apart. It's like you're yearning for each other, but you're trying to um, not think about it. Show us um, a message for this connection spirit. Show us a message about this connection. Um, first, I want to do this, and then I'll do that. I'm going to see more on this reading and extend it uh, in Patreon. For those who do not know, I am in Patreon uh, for memberships, uh, dailies, weeklies, monthlies, uh, and so much more. The link is listed in the description. Scorpio, show us a message here for Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, the runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say that? Someone is listening to their, someone is in their ego. This could be you. This could be this person. But also like the connection is apart because of, and I still see some magic though. Someone could definitely be throwing something y'all way. If it's not like actual magic, which I'm getting more of a uh, 90% here. <laughs> Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. So something got to end in order for this to begin. Um, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. The sunglasses came out in reverse. So I feel like you you're not even... You're not trying to look. It's like, no. The relationship is not over yet. This is not over. It's a separation, though. It's silent. Silent treatment. Abandonment. Yeah, someone could be abandoning you or you abandoned this person. Healing heart. Heal from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. And then, boom. Engagement ring. Um, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union, which was said, whoa, why so many want to come out? This person want to communicate with you. Also, also someone else may want to date you. They could be thinking about reaching out to you. They are looking at your photos. They miss you. Um, Someone want to date you, okay? This could be this person that keep running from you or uh, it could it keep being like a separation between you two or whatever. They may want to come back around and invest in this more once they get out their head and take control over the negative energies that's trying to keep you two apart. We have fallen in love, sudden feelings that this is a that this is the one. What else, Spirit, for a Scorpio? There we go. That's that twin flame energy. There is a gravitational pull towards each other. Benefit of the doubt. Give this relationship a give this relationship a chance. Dreams come true. Have faith. Your rainbow will come smiling through. What else? Whoa. Marriage, wedding bells are ringing. So you and this person, it's just meant for y'all to be married however you look at it. Whether you're thinking about marriage or not, or you gave up on marriage and you no longer want it now. <laughs> it's, yeah, you're going to be married or this is already locked in. Like, it's not, it's not meant for you to be a part. Love language, quality time, be the witness to each other's lives. Exactly. It's not meant for you to be a part rekindle an old flame returns exactly i told you this is not over so if you thought it was it's not your reading your worth doesn't depend on the other person and that's what the masculine needs to understand too because they're showing it's it's like they feel powerless with the emperor in reverse if they just realize like you know we all go through 
hiccups. We all go through points in our life where we wish it was better, but don't don't um, lose your power over that. Like you, whoever this masculine is, you're very powerful, and they keep telling you that in this reading. Like I feel like it's just you know due to circumstances, certain situations, someone could be battling or trying to uh, balance their money finances with the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Someone could be trying to battle and uh, or just balance out situations due to a child, children, and family. Like, just career, like, something like that is going on. And it could be bothering you, masculine, male, or um, whoever, like, or your masculine. Uh, but it's, that's the that's the issue with someone may feel like they're not good enough or they don't have enough or something like that. But you do, they want you to own that and know that. Like, don't let those circumstances. But the thing is, that's why they're telling you this connection, this union must come together because things can blossom. It's like someone is not seeing that. They're not getting that. In another reading showed up. Ace of Pentacles to the justice due to this connection. If you allow this new beginning, someone will wake up though. This tower is going to shake someone. I feel like it's forcing someone to wake up. That tower is like, look, Slapping the head, slapping the face. Listen here. This is what this is. And this is, I told you what I say. What I say. It's a third party trying to interfere with this connection. You may be dealing with a karmic situation. This person that, and that's in their energy is karmic. It could be a feminine energy. I feel like it's on a masculine side. It could be on the female side too. But as shown, there's another woman. The other woman could be uh, anyone. This could be a sibling that's trying to get in this person's ear. This could be a mother that's trying to get in this person's ear. This could be an ex-lover, the baby mother. Like someone is trying to interfere or you're, if you're the male, this is your situation. This is what's going on. Now, of course, flip it in reverse. You're like, nah, it's her mama or it's her, uh, her father or it's her... Whoever, if you know, you know, but yeah, I feel like you're getting to the point where you want to friend zone this person, but you can't, you're not going to be able to do that for long. Let this situation unfold naturally. Cause I feel like, yeah, this is a psychic connection. Your communication goes beyond mere words. Um, a lack of passion in this companionship. This is what's causing you to Cause that lack of passion, especially a Scorpio, I I understand. Especially a Scorpio, if you like, look, um, out of sight, out of mind. When it's too much time, it's like, look, I I don't know, <laughs> like friend zone, like, mm -mm. but spirit is like, nah, this is not, it's it's not gonna happen that way. Divine timing, serendipity, event. Let go of the past, clear energy, and allow more love in your life. That's what this person needs to do. Yep. Reaching out, expect a call or a text from your person or you're going to be reaching out to them. This is your life partner. Your romance is stable and ready to go the distance. See, it's ready. Spirit is like, look, let this karmic situation die down or die, like go away. Um, and the only way that's going to happen is due to this person's strength. Scorpio, this could be you. You're going to have to be strong and understand that it's forces working against your connection. Um, don't necessarily give up on it, but I would give it space. I mean, it looked like you don't have a choice but to give it space, but it's about to come back together because it's forced to, because it's meant to. Um, love language, affirmations, loving words hold great power. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave this here and dive more into who this karmic situation is, um, and more about your person, characteristics, things like that. Just more details on this message and Patreon. All right. But until next time, if you don't join me in Patreon, you just, uh, I guess, wait till next week. But don't forget tonight I'll be live for Q&As between 7 and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So join in um, with us for that and games as well. All right. Many blessings.